What's up? Hey, I've been asked multiple times by people if I would get a, a rundown of what is happening in this room that I record stuff in. So here we are. This is a gear rundown. I'm going to start with the instruments. This is a Squire Bronco bass. I've had it since I was probably 16 years old. It's what I track every bit of bass guitar with. This is a Fender Stratocaster that I am purchasing from Blake. Thank you, Blake. This, oh. this is a Fender Starcaster. I really like this guitar. I'd always wanted one. I got one and I love it. I need to change the strings on it. This is an electric guitar with P90s that I've made. It is like a jazz master. I have my last name on the headstock. I made it, I put the pickups in it, and I love it. It's what I recorded Doorways and Tombstones on, and it worked well. This is a Squire Mustang that has been gutted and redone from the inside out. The only part of it, the Squire, is the neck and the body. This is a banjo. This is a Yamaha classical guitar that was my dad's. This is a 1986 Fender 12 string that was my mom's. This is a Dean acoustic bass that I sometimes use to track, just depending on what I'm looking for. This is my wife's Casio keyboard. I use it for MIDI and she plays it too. Kind of just ended up in here. I like using it. That does it for this side of the room. Now, right here, we have a M1 Mac Mini. That is what I do all the recording on. Right here, we have an Acer monitor. We have a wall of things, mostly autographed stuff that I like to have around. Got Edifier speakers for monitoring, SM58, another SM58. Those are mostly used to track vocals. This in my hand is a Shure MV7. It's used for podcasting quite a bit, but I have tracked vocals with it as well. This is a Shure SM57. I use it mostly for acoustic guitar. This is an MXL 770. This is most of the time what I use for singing vocals, but I also have used it for acoustic and for some other stuff, but that's pretty much it. All of those things I have running straight into a direct input here, a Focusrite Scarlet. I think it's an 18i, but that's what it is. That is what this is running into as well with XLR. I also do all of my instruments direct input into that for the most part. Now, I do have a Line 6 HX Stomp that is not here. It is at the church currently, and my Eastman E10 SSV acoustic guitar is also at the church. I find that amp modeling works pretty well on Logic. I use Logic Pro to record every bit of everything that I do. My user presets right here. This would be a clean 80s guitar tone. I can then go into the amp and start messing around with mic placements and different settings. Look at the different pedals, activate them, add more. I have certain EQs on everything and I've saved all of that as presets. When I go to record vocals, most of the time I do a lot of multi-track recording and I usually go ahead and stack the vocals. I'll usually sing one dead in the center, won't have any reverbs hardly on it, and then I'll sing the same thing again to the left, the same thing again to the right ear, and I'll reverb those out. That is usually what I do. My usual vocal chain that I like to use. I usually have an EQ going first, and then I have a compressor that's not doing very much, another compressor that's doing a little bit more, then I have some tuning to help out, usually the Waves tuner, and then I use the Baby Audio spaced out reverb it's a space echo slash reverb type thing but then i also will use a j37 uh plug-in from waves on most tracks it gives like a nice tape saturation and then one of the biggest parts is for mastering a lot of times i use the ozone elements mastering assist and so that i can kind of hit go it'll analyze it and then i can tweak it a little bit help it get it to the right volume so that's what we have going on. I hope that helped out. I have a new song coming out uh, March 31st that I'm really happy with and I'm really excited for. So you should go pre-save it. Thanks for watching this. I'll see y'all later.